Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I know it's been a few months, maybe like two to three months. However, around the space on my external hard drives, I couldn't edit any videos. These videos, as in the clips you're about to see and this clip right now, are filmed maybe a month apart. Let me explain. <laughs> um, I got really busy during summer with makeup, costumes. What else do I do? Yeah, makeup and costumes. <laughs> so I had no time to edit at all. Like I really wanted to edit it all since like the week after I filmed it, but no time. Um, my hair is very stale. I don't want to say a bit because it's very stale. However, I was like, before I take these out, I might as well just quickly film this part of the video with them in before I come back and y'all just like, where the braids at though. So, here they are. Um, it is about a month later, so they are a bit frizzy. Eh. but they still look good um so yeah i might actually take these all within a week or two maybe depending how i feel um they could really last it's just that i don't keep braids in for this long like if you know me you know that braids usually come out within two to three weeks just because they get frizzy but that's also the reason why they're in this long but we'll get into that later on in the video Tuan did my hair as usual. Tuan's the only person ever braided my hair. So if you see braids in my hair, it's Tuan. Just so you guys know. If you see crochet in my hair, it's Deandra. Got it? Got it. So now we're going to get into the pros and cons of these braids. So pros. It's quick. It's easy. And is light as hell. Like, compared to other braids, this feels like nothing. Also, in terms of... Um, what, what was the word? In terms of uh, skills required to do this, you don't need any. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I don't think you need any sort of rail experience or any like rail hand eye coordination to do this because it's pretty simple. You can either do the method we did, which is crochet, because I have locks. You can also do if you have like, if you want to do the rubber band method, you could also use the crochet. Because for that method, I think they just rubber bands around the roots and then they just crochet the hair in and then just twist it. So this method will work both ways. Um, if you just want to twist it into your hair, that's fine too. That's pretty easy. But um, judging from my point of view with the locks and the crocheting I think it's pretty easy if I had the patience I would do it myself however I do not so I will not ever do this myself okay um other pros it lasts really long because as I stated like three times before the staler it gets to me the better it looks like the more natural it looks because I mean people do have hair this long but you know what I mean. It looks pretty fucking nice. It's also a great vacation here in terms of if you're going to like the Caribbean or somewhere where you're going to be in water a lot. It's great for that because these don't take much time to dry. The first time I did them, I washed my hair like twice with them. And if you feel like your hair looks a little too stale or it's getting like really dry and whatnot, just wash it. Like... Every time I wash it, I feel like it looks brand new again. It looks the way it looked like the first day I did them. So, just saying, so you, know, you can wash them, it's fine. But yeah, um, they don't take long to dry because they're so light and not like twisted tightly or whatever. So, they air dry pretty quickly. Um, damn, I came back saying um to you guys a lot. I'm so sorry. 
we're gonna try to do better for the next couple videos i almost said it cons uh cons are if you're in antigua this bread in here is very expensive i tried to like work out a deal with the only people in antigua that do them but that didn't go the way i expected it to go because they're like old school so they don't really understand the concept of like youtube and collaborating whatever so i was link the hair down below it's cheaper if you order the hair but if you're not taking you want to buy the hair here good luck it's very expensive um it's about 35 ec a pack and i use seven packs so another con is they kind of stick together like when they get stale like that they kind of stick together they also tend to have a kind of dry look. Like my best friend Nikki was like, your hair feels softer than it looks. And I was just like, thanks. <laughs> so if that bothers you, then I don't know, but I don't really care because I don't really care. I know that they're soft. Like they don't sound crunchy, they don't feel crunchy. So it doesn't bother me. What I will say though, I wish I dyed my hair before braiding it like I did the first time. But I really forgot that I made this appointment to do my hair that early. So earlier than the date was early. So I didn't have a chance to do it. Also, I had already postponed this appointment because I kept forgetting that I made the appointment. So you kind of like see my natural brown hair mixed with black and then this blonde tips here <sighs> that's that's my only gripe but other than that i am happy with them they serve their purpose they serve their time you know they gave me some looks not really but <laughs> um yeah i would definitely do this again i would definitely order my hair first before doing this again and i think that's just about oh okay how I maintain them, I didn't, but you guys already knew that. I don't tie my hair, I don't like wear a bonnet, none of that. The most I did was just all of my scalp to keep it from being completely dried out because no matter what I do, my scalp's gonna be dry. So, in terms of maintenance, I just all of my scalp and I use this. It's actually my mom's spray, but um. <laughs> I use, um, I'll post a picture right here. I use this and just sprayed it like all over the braids to keep them looking, you know, nice and lush and not dry out. But that's just about it for this video. I will post the clips of us, or of her doing the hair. I'll try and zoom it as much as possible so you guys can see exactly how she did it. Also, where my locks ended she put rubber bands this one is busted but you can see she used black rubber bands just so that they keep my locks from like popping out um also when i first did my hair i it for two to three months so when these popped off i would just put them put on new ones just to help me prolong the hairstyle and whatnot but before this dies or gets too hot i'm gonna just insert the rest of the clips Hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to ask any questions down below or on IG or on Twitter. But I don't really like y'all following me on Twitter because I'm kind of lawless on Twitter. But follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.